guys, what's up? Private Ryan is back, and we're we'll going to talk about the Nintendo Switch OLED model or the OLED model for the Switch. It's going to be released very, very soon at October 8, 2021. Now, some of the best YouTubers for Nintendo and even Nintendo themselves have early access. They were given the OLED model early on before the end of September and just right at October 1. So one of the best YouTubers for Nintendo is Wolf, Dan, and Bob back at Beat Em Ups. They got the early access as well. And of course, Kevin, the tech reviewer that loves Nintendo Switch. So I'm going to be using some of their footages as I don't have the Nintendo Switch OLED model yet. But the official unboxing is of course coming from the Nintendo employees themselves, Nintendo Minute, which is an official Nintendo YouTube channel. So you can go there. I'm going to post links down below for all their channels to see the full unboxing and the glory of Nintendo Switch OLED model. Now for first impressions guys, the Switch model is actually a lot bigger in screen size than what we have anticipated so 6.2 versus 7 inch we thought it's gonna be just a minimal increase but it's not so most of these footages show you how beautiful the screen is it's purely shiny black compared to the matte plasticky look of our original switch and the colors are eye-popping vivid enough full colors just like when you have Samsung phones and those high-end OLED phones this is what it feels like and initially also based on the recommendations the all AED model OLED model is a lot bigger so probably a few centimeters bigger than the original switch so some accessories will not fit guys so you better watch that out and since they are early on unboxers they don't have screen protectors yet for this model so probably the screen protectors will follow soon after the October 8th release for those pre-orders for you guys. What I've been told, it will not still be available at your game shops and stores. After October 8th, it's, it probably will be displayed in stores at October 15th or at the end of October as all the pre-orders are starting to flow in. Those guys that order early on last March when this was announced everybody started to get their switch in their mails now the focus of this video is are we gonna buy the nintendo switch oled model even though if we owned the original switch now i have stick to my stand early on when i said if you use it mostly on dock mode like i do i have a bigger monitor a tv screen an led screen or an oled screen to play my games because i or stuck at home I'm not carrying the switch around anymore then you don't need to go upgrade remember that the switch OLED model is a little bit expensive 349 that 99 or 350 dollars US compared to that 299 US dollars for just the main switch model but if you have some 350 dollars to spare and you'd like new technology the build quality for this new model is really superb as you can see in most of this footages and the reviews it, it gets rave reviews guys from the youtubers and all of them are gonna use the latest OLED model now for reviewing games and for switch related products but if you're a first time switch user you decided to go buy a switch console this is the console to go but if you don't have the budget, I think the Switch Lite is the best one for you. As that Switch costs only 199 US dollars. And you could use the extra $150 to buy your initial games for Nintendo. As Nintendo's, Nintendo's games lineup are all costly. Most of them priced at $60 to $70. And I haven't seen a lot of sale for their top titles. Now, if you own the V1 Switch, the OG one that has a bad battery life and probably is already five to six years old on your hand right now, it's time to buy this OLED model as this will last for another three years in my estimate before Nintendo will release a new console. So if this is priced at $350, $100 a year 
for your console is already enough to make the investment worth it. So the question still remains, should you buy the OLED switch model? It's up to you. Whatever your needs is, my advice still stands. If you own the original switch, no need to buy this one unless you have extra money to burn. If you're purely a dock mode user, no need to buy this one as well. But if you have extra money and you'd like new te technology with better kickstand, this one's for you. If you're a new switch buyer, and you have enough, go get this one. If not, stick with the Switch Lite. With that said, I'd like to invite everyone to visit the links of these uh, YouTubers and reviewers, and I'd like to thank them for some of the footages that I use in this vlog. I'll be seeing you guys. Thanks for the sub, thanks for the like. Please leave a comment. With that said, everybody, peace.